Hey guys, welcome to NASCAR Fantasy Fastlane. I'm Jessica Ruffin here with NBC Sports' Steve Letarte. Steve, let's talk Daytona. We're heading into the third restricted plate race of the season. Daytona is certainly a wild card race, so let's go ahead and look at the 2017 results. Well, you talk about the wild card, Jessica, and I really think when it comes to fantasy owners, that's what restricted plate racing is. If you're leading your standings, you could be scared to death not knowing who to start this weekend, but if you're a player that needs to gain at points, this is the weekend you're looking for because sometimes of the oddity of names we see in the top 10. So if you mentioned 2017, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. got that win. It was an exciting win. But look at some of the names in the back half of the top 10. David Reagan, Brendan Gaughan, A.J. Allmendinger, Chris Butcher back in 10th. But this isn't a rarity at the Speedways. If we go back to just this year's Daytona 500 back in 2018, Austin Dillon won the race. His name's up there, but look who else were inside the top 10. Look at number nine, Michael McDowell, number 10, A.J. Allmendinger. That's twice we see Allmendinger's name inside the top 10. So I really think this is the week. Avoid the big names. The secret is going to be who you pick that you wouldn't normally pick week in and week out. Well, Daytona is certainly where you can put some of those drivers to use, some of the names that we don't talk about as much. So I want to get a few more of your picks in and so we can go right into hot laps with your card. All right, I got Come my notes. In. I'm ready. All right, first one, Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace, runner-up in the Daytona 500 this year. When I look throughout the summer, this is probably the last chance I would have to use him, so he's in my lineup. Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon, even though he is the winner of the Daytona 500, I'm going to avoid him this year because, listen, that's the only finish better than 19th he's had in the last six plate races. Ryan Newman. I'm avoiding Ryan Newman. He seems to be snake bit. Normally, he's known to grind it out to get to the finish, but the plate tracks have not matched up well with him lately. Alex Bowman. I think he's my garage pick. When I look at Alex Bowman, he won the pole for the 500, so there's speed in that 88, but this is July. The track is going to have a little less grip. They're going to have to work on handling. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is a must start when it comes to his frickin' plate tracks. While Rex can bite anyone, if he doesn't have an accent, he proved last year that he knows how to win on Daytona's high points. Denny Hamlin. Jessica, my pick for the race winner, the number 11 FedEx Toyota Denny Hamlin. I think he's the guy that's going to figure out the balance between handling, track position, and patience when it comes to the hot, slick, very difficult 400 mile race at Daytona. All right, well, we will see this weekend. Be sure you guys set your lineups and tune into the race Saturday, 7 p.m. on NBC.